Hi guys, um, join me today for a gentle sequence focusing on twisting. Hi guys, a nice gentle practice um, focusing on twisting to create some freedom in the spine and also maybe a nice metaphor for changing perspective on things in your life. So come down onto your backs and find a position that works for you here. You may want to just have the knees bent. I'm going to join the soles of the feet together, Supta Baddha Konasana. See what works for you today and take a few moments just to drop in here, just to arrive at your mat, come to your practice. Connecting with the breath. Taking a few deeper breaths here and releasing the weight of your body down into the floor. Each exhale, just a chance to let go of anything that no longer supports you. Let go of anything you don't need in this moment. Enjoy a few deeper breaths. And then you can pull the knees in towards the chest. And we'll bring the right hand to the right knee, left hand to the left knee. And we're going to make some circles with the knees, just separating the legs. And you can link the breath in here. As you exhale, you can draw the knees towards you. As you inhale, you can push the legs away from you. And then you can change the direction of the circles, just working into the hips. A couple more times that way. And then we'll release the feet to the floor and gently drop, take the hips over to the left and then drop the knees to the right. And from here, we're going to extend the left hand out to the side and possibly turn the head in the same direction as the left arm. Breathing here, softening through the upper chest. And just thinking about perhaps something that comes to mind that you could perhaps change your way of thinking about perhaps seeing something from someone else's perspective or perhaps just being open, trusting that the right situation will appear if there's something that you're working on. It doesn't seem clear. There doesn't seem to be an answer. Take one more breath on this side. Your inhale, come back to center and pause. We'll drop the hips or shift the hips to the right and drop the knees to the left. Turning now to turn, face the right arm. How can you perhaps be open to another way of doing things? Perhaps be open to a different perspective other than your other than yourself. One more breath. Inhale, come back to center and pause. I'm going to bring the left, the right ankle to rest on top of the left knee and draw that left leg in towards you. You can play with lifting that left leg up and maybe circling through that left ankle. A couple more breaths here. And then we'll bring that left foot down to the floor. Now cross your right leg 
on top of the left so the knees are stacked. Bring the hips over to the right and drop the legs once again to the left. Turn your head to the right. And our yoga practice is so such a great example of how our perspective just naturally changes when we when we're open to this. Often we first come to our practice because we're wanting to work on something in our body. Maybe becoming more flexible or helping with an injury. And then through the process of showing up for our practice, we find that it becomes so much more. Our perspective has automatically or just naturally flowed and changed. Take one more breath there. Come back to center. This time, left ankle on top of that right knee. Draw the knee, the right knee in. Possibly extend that right leg up and play with circling that ankle. Release that right foot back down to the floor. Cross the left ankle, the left foot leg on top of the right, hips to the left, legs to the right. Slightly deeper twist. And if this twist is feeling deeper, feel free to return to the twist we first started with, with the knees stacked. Breathing up into the upper chest. Softening the collarbones, releasing through the upper back. What can you let go of here? Last round of breath. Take your time coming back to center. Uncross the legs. And however you wish to get there, we are going to come up to all fours. <clears throat> And find our tabletop here. Wrists and shoulders in line, hips and knees. Inhale, the right arm reaches up and exhale, thread the right arm under the left. Rest down on that right side of the head, the shoulder. You can keep that left hand where it is or possibly extend it up towards the ceiling or maybe even tuck it behind your back. Send the breath into the upper back. Feel that little twist that's happening here through the upper back. Last breath. Left hand supports you as you unwind and unthread that right arm, maybe extending it up towards the ceiling and then coming back to tabletop. So another chance to change perspective. Thread the left arm underneath the right, resting down on this side. Right hand moving to wherever feels most supportive. Last round of breath, bringing the right hand back to the floor and unthreading the left. Come back to all fours here. Let's throw in a downward facing dog just to stretch everything out here. So on an exhale, lift the hips, look back towards the toes. Holding here for a few breaths. End of your exhale, release the knees to the floor, cross the ankles behind you, and come to sitting. Sitting up nice and tall. Left hand on the left knee, right hand comes behind you. Little twist, just gratitude for all that's come before coming to this moment. You can slide that left hand over to the right knee, deepen that twist a little bit. 
Just acknowledging everything that has come in the past to reach this moment in time, all the lessons you've learned, all the understanding you've gained. Unwind, calm, back to center. Right hand stays on that right knee, left hand behind you. And then gazing in the other direction, looking forward with that knowledge, that understanding, moving forward from this moment to whatever's coming next. One more breath. Right hand to that left knee, twisting a little deeper here. And unwind, come back to center. So from here, I hope you find time to take some time in Shavasana or maybe another restorative pose. Just hands coming to the heart center, just gratitude for this practice that provides us this opportunity to really connect deeper with ourselves and with those in our lives. So thank you for sharing your practice with me today and namaste. Let's twist again like we did last summer. <laughs> I, mean, we get, I can work with that if you want me to use it. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay.